This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so um, thank you for coming today. I'm recording this so that way we can pass it along to additional colleagues. Um, I appreciate your time. Let me know if you have any questions at any point. We have time at the end. Um, really today what we're going to be doing is reviewing the summer and fall decorative uh, new products for floss. So uh, we're gonna be reviewing the Noctambul, one of our most popular fixtures and all of the exciting things that happened in floss between June and up until December for this year. So we'll be doing a brief outline of the designer if you need a little refresh for the designer and then also the products themselves and the inspiration behind them. So first up we have Konstantin Grichich. So Konstantin was born in Germany, as many of you know, he's an industrial designer for having more of a pared down aesthetic, but always a passion for good design. Um, he studied at the Royal College of Art in London, which you'll notice is a pattern with a lot of our designers uh, that we'll be speaking about today. But he's currently based in Berlin and active in a variety of industrial design projects, exhibition design, and even architectural collaborations. And he's received a lot of international design awards, which we'll be seeing today as well. And his work is currently featured at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. So here are three of his main floss products. We have the OK Pendant in the background, May Day on the left, and the Noctambul on the right. Really, Grichich is known for having really a Spartan approach to design. His designs are simple. They rely on geometric forms, usually unusual angles or hard edges. So in the OK pendant, in the Noctambul, and even in the Mayday, you can see both of his restraint and playfulness. So um, a lot of people think that he focuses on utility and simplicity, which we can definitely see here. So the Noctambul collection came out in 2019 for Floss. Uh, Noctambul translates to night owl in French. So really it's meant to be quiet during the day, but coming to life at night. And he named this collection because in the day the fixture is transparent and translucent. It's not very visible, but once it turns on, it turns into an illuminated light. It's good for making a statement, but also if you don't want to block out the environment around it. Here's some in progress shots of the transparent handcrafted blown glass pieces, which is one of my favorite parts about working with floss is that you can see the craftsmanship and the quality of the pieces, which essentially are like works of art. And uh, whenever you see this piece in person, you really do notice that the LED rings are floating in between due to the transparency of the glass. And that's one of the parts that I love about it most. And I think that's why it became so popular. So Grichich, he explained his idea for the Noctambul by saying that the cylindrical glass modules set the basic grammar of the collection. The single module is a lantern. Several modules stacked together create a light column or a suspended chandelier, which can be inside of a stairwell or in any place in the home. So uh, it's carefully calibrated LED technology and it powers the lamp in a discrete way, but it's almost absent during the day and can be activated at any time at the night. So between the last slide and this one, you can see the differences in um, creating this fixture either in a large way or a small, more simple way. They can be joined in up to six elements together to create a whole column if you'd like, or you can create a small floor model or, or a suspension. So seen here are the different components that you can use to create the Noctam bowl. On the top row, we have the cone and the bowl, as well as the suspension light. In the center, you have the low cylinder, the high cylinder, and then the cylinder on the right side is what you would place on top of a floor model as we need an LED ring that encompasses both pieces of glass. And then on the bottom, of course, are the two different bases that you have. So these are all of the different options for the Noctambul. I think that's also why I really enjoy this collection is that you can change up um, as many of the different shapes as you like, if you want the cylinder only or the cone and the bowl, floor or suspension, it really works in a lot of different places. Um, so it's very versatile for different design aesthetics. And I know I definitely want to get one uh, for my own place, but uh, the Noctambul is really versatile and that's what I love about it. Now also with Grichich, uh, this year he came up with a limited edition for our May Day lamp. The May Day was originally launched in the year 2000 and 
A lot of people say that the May Day exemplifies an just his design aesthetic to rethink conventional products for the home. It did receive the Compasso de Oro Award, one of the most coveted design awards. And it's simple, um, it's suitable for multiple uses and locations because you can put it on the table, you can keep it on the ground, or you can also hang it up. So this is a closer look at the limited edition version. The original um, design was inspired by his love of Formula One racing. So it's a no frills lamp, usually, you know, created with auto mechanics in mind. And that was really his inspiration. It's portable, funnel shaped, and equipped with the hook so that way you can secure it to the hood of a car. But uh, Gritchich really took it and made it into a more stylized, more beautiful design for everyday use that you can have in the home. Here's a close up of the handle. So the material is different on this May Day as, as what you're used to seeing. Um, it was polypropylene previously, but this year we're doing a tumbler die cast aluminum with a natural finishing. Each handle is engraved with the exclusive and progressive serial number, plus the designer's signature, which you can see on the left side there. And everything is created using handcrafted me mechanical punching. So it's permanent in the fixture. It also has special packaging that looks like a toolbox and bears a sticker with a serial number as well. So I like these new design elements that we're adding in, especially for this anniversary edition. Um, if you receive this as a gift, it would be really wonderful, not only just for the light itself, but also with the packaging included. So here's a little detailed of um, the May Day. Of course, there are only 2,020 of these being created since it is our anniversary edition. So it'll be really great for anyone who's a collector of good design. Next up, we have Edward Barber and Jay Oscar B. So um, this team is made up of two friends. They met, of course, at the Royal College of Art in London, just like um, Gritchich, where he was studying as well. So they studied architecture and interior design and met as fellow students. But then in 1996, they founded their own studio for design. And they wanted to blend design integrity, technical innovation, and modern aesthetic. Um, so they've really brought that over to Floss as well. But this team designs everything from lighting to furniture to drink bottles and different um, electronics. So they really have their hand in a lot of different designs right now. These are the two main products that they have created for Floss. We have the Tab Light and the Bellhop, which we'll be touching on. But really, Barber and Oscar B love to to exemplify what they call interaction design. So they wanna put the user's interaction as the forefront of the design, which most clients appreciate. Imagine having a designer create something for you that thinks about the user at the end and how the client is going to interact with it. I'm sure we've all been in, you know, in front of something that's super beautiful, but it's, it's not easy to interact with. And that's where Barbara and Oscar B try to break the boundaries. So um, they, they're involved in a lot of mass production items like lighting, but then one thing that I love about them too is that they designed the 2012 Olympic torch. So uh, they definitely had their hands in a lot of different projects lately. So in 2018, they produced our very popular bellhop light. So the bellhop, as you know, is portable, rechargeable, and wireless. It's a sleek, modern LED tabletop lamp. And it was originally designed by Barbara and Oscar B for the London Design Museum. But it charges with the micro USB-C and holds the charge for up to 24 hours. It's easy to dim the lamp just by pressing the push button at the bottom. So the lamp itself pays homage to the hatted hotel porter or the bellhop with its reminiscent hotel bell-like shape. It debuted at the Salone de Mobile in 2017, and it evokes the spirit of a modern day candle. That's really what Barbara and Oscar B were going for with this design. They wanted it to be carried from room to room, casting a pool of direct light wherever it goes. But they also didn't want the light to shine into the, um, the face of the user, so that's why we have the mushroom-like top um, that deflects the light downward instead. But really, it's just an exercise in simplicity. So these are the four original colors that the Bellhop came out with in 2018, made of the lightweight polycarbonate. And um, now that we have two more added to the collection, I think we have more of a well-rounded design for any buyers of the Bellhop. 
So the two new colors are gray, blue, and yellow, and they really add fresh, warm light to modern interiors. I think that these two colors um, add a lot of variety into the design. I have a couple photos here of what the uh, new colors look like in their interiors. So you can see how it really is more of a fresh touch. We launched this in June, and so it was really exciting for us to have something new for the summer. It's great for the vibrant colors or for people who have more of that bohemian style at home. Here's the detail of all four of, or all six of the bellhops that we have now. And you can see the different variety of colors. Next up, we have the tab light, which was designed in 2011. So Barbara and Oscar B explained this design by saying that occasionally the first sketch captures the spirit of the final piece. They said all of the key elements of the tab light were captured in a, on paper in a matter of minutes, but it took four years of development to translate it into a finished product. So it's really a versatile design that allows for the adjustment of the direction of light, which can be used as a table lamp. As you know, we have the table version, and then the floor lamp can be used either as floor lighting or near a desk as well. So Barbara and Oscar B decided to expand the collection by adding two new colors. We have um, the dark green and the matte blue colors. So it's really more of just a subtle coloring to the new, uh, to the new design. You still have the simple stand-in base, a folded aluminum shade. Um, inside you have a ceramic reflector, which reduces the glare, adding a softer, warmer light. So, and as you know, it comes in the LED version. This allows for the longevity um, of the lifetime of the fixture. But I think that the blue and the green were really a great addition, especially since the tab was originally created in white and black colors, keeping it simple, just adding a few more options for the users. Here are some um, new photos of the colors, which you can see are very subtle. But the tab lamp is actually um, held at the Art Institute of Chicago and the Indianapolis Museum of Art. So it has been world renowned at this point. Um, people are enjoying the simplicity of the design. One thing that has changed between the white and black version and the blue and green is that the original version only rotated at a 45 degree angle and the new version rotates at 90 degrees. So you have a little more flexibility with the two new colors. And here we have the full collection again. Next up, one of our favorite designers, Michael Anastasiadis. So um, Michael, you know, always aspired to be an artist, but he wasn't really sure when he started out his career where his career path was going to go. He did study civil, civil engineering first at the um, Imperial College in London, but then eventually moved on to the Royal College of Art, just like our other designers. And um, he ended up founding his own design studio in 1994. But a lot of his products are renowned be, for being innovative, for choosing reflective materials like mirrored glass and polished bronze, and also that he likes to dematerialize his objects. They like to float or balance. They interact with the space around them. Um, he's also known for creating jewelry and different tabletop objects, which is reflected in some of his designs. One thing that I love about Michael is that he is a devoted yogi. And so a lot of his designs play in with balance. And you can see that in his own works and also the works that he creates for Floss. But he does a great job of combining art, design, and technology, that his designs are not something that might have been possible just a few years ago, but now become timeless classics. And his work is still featured in a lot of permanent collections all over the world, like the MoMA and the Victoria and Albert Museum. So in 2014, we launched, launched our IC collection with a series of table lights, wall lights, ceiling pendants, and mounted lights. So really the whole idea was just a basic form of a spear that it's perfectly balanced on the edge of a rod. And this quickly became one of Floss's best sellers after it was launched. He named the collection IC after the identity codes used by the British police to signify broad ethnic groups. And when I first read about this, I wasn't really sure what his intention was of naming this after the identity code. But a lot of people think that he gave a nod to the balancing act that these cultural communities perform while adjusting to a new society. So just a little integrated um, fact in there that isn't usually talked about with the IC lights. 
Something I find interesting too is his inspiration for this came from a YouTube video. So he was looking at a YouTube clip, clip of a juggler um, and they were gracefully spinning the orbs on their bodies. And I think that it's really interesting that something so small as watching a YouTube video can inspire such a beautiful collection of, of uh, design. And I'm happy that it did. I'm happy that he saw the YouTube video. Now though, we've updated the IC lights in a red burgundy color. So it's a exclusive finish with a collaboration for Michael. So he was the one who chose this. He thought it was a warm color that suited classical architecture, but also adds a distinctive touch to more contemporary spaces. Here are a few images of our new collection. So as you're familiar, we have a lot of different versions of the IC lights. We have um, both the floor versions here. We have the three different table sizes. So it's great because it's adjustable no matter what space your client may have, they can have space uh, for one of the different versions here. And then of course the suspension. Now we did add a new light into the collection along with the burgundy color and that was our IC double. So the double is meant to be, you know, for both indoor lighting of residential or contract, but really just providing a double source of light. There was a lot of um, feedback from the original collection and many people asked for the double spheres. So we brought it out this year and it's available in all four finishes. And you can see it's also um, being created in the smaller and the larger versions. So that way there's a little flexibility in the design. So coming up in 2020, um, in December, we're launching the coordinates collection, which has really been anticipated by a lot of people. And I'm extremely excited about the coordinates collection because it's really only been seen in staged photographs. And so I'm excited to see what uh, interior designers and architects are going to use for this collection for residential projects. But Michael described the collection by saying that coordinates is a lighting system consisting of horizontal and vertical strip lights that form illuminated grid-like structures of various complexities. The system can easily be adapted for different environments of varying scale. But the design itself was evolved from a commission from the New York City's Four Seasons restaurant, which was designed in 2018 uh, with the Sao Paulo-based architect Ice Weinfield. So really the coordinates collection is meant to be bespoke. You're meant to take the different coordinates, add them together if you like, or just use one single pendant in order to create the design that you're looking for. Here you can see a close-up of the um, finishes. It only comes in one finish now, but there are five different chandeliers and three ceiling mounted uh, versions. But the actual chandelier is made out of an opal glass with an anodized champagne finish. Here we have a gorgeous installation. So you can see how you can create multiple coordinates to make one large installation. But it's really elegant, it's easily adaptable, it's flexible yet rigorous because you have the vertical and horizontal lines. So it does create kind of a rigid system. However, you have the flexibility of adding and, and subtracting different pieces to create either a minimal piece or a maximum impact. Here we have a few samples of the different coordinates types. One is the uh, floor version. So this one has two beams of light on either side and uh, we'll go either well with the coordinates themselves or along with them, you know, by itself. But it's just a simple rounded base with the two bars and then you can decide which angle that you would like to place it during assembly. So these are our suspension versions. You can see the different uh, five different versions that we have here, which are great by themselves or combined with more suspension. Then we also have the ceiling version. So these are fixed to the ceiling and there's, um, as you can see, a regular version and the long version. So you have C1, C2, C4, and then C1, C2, C4 long. So it's really adaptable um, for whatever project that, that you're looking for. And then we also have the last order. So the last order was meant to be part of the table design at the Four Seasons restaurant in 2018 as well. Uh, but now it has, of course, translated into our decorative collection. 
and it's available in four different luxury finishes. I really love the last order, and once you get your hands on it, you'll see uh, how elegant and how beautiful it is. So it's portable and rechargeable, just like the Bellhop, but it diffuses light through the transparent solid glass base. So the lighting itself is actually found in the top cover of the fixture. But the shape, and also last order, is meant to be a reference to the architecture of the columns in ancient Greece. Order is the type of columns. It's also a play on last order, like being at the restaurant and placing um, last call for the night. But I love the LED technology, so it's, it's really a high-end fixture, but also has all of those beautiful, elegant um, references to classic architecture. So really, Anastasiadis, you know, has repeated throughout his career that his goal was to make timeless pieces because he's really against consumerism. He doesn't want to design something that's trendy just for it to go out of style um, just a few years later. And I think he really does this here with the Last Order collection. So you can see how there's eight different variations. You have a smooth finish for a more minimal contemporary look, and then you also have the fluted finish for the timeless elegance. And then there's four different metal finishes. We have copper, brass, stainless steel, and green opal coating. What's interesting is that the copper and the brass are just indoor fixtures. However, the green and the stainless steel can also be used for outdoor. So you have a little bit of flexibility with those two designs. So here's our specs on the last order. Um, this will be available November 5th. That's whenever Floss is launching this. And I think it's going to be a great fixture for people who want something substantial and long lasting. They want something that's simple and elegant, but has the accessibility to be ported um, around their home and into different areas that they need it. Here's an image of the Four Seasons restaurant. Um, so you can see the last order on the tables and then the custom coordinates fixtures that Michael created. Last but not least, we have um, some updated colors for our favorite uh, old friend, the Lampadina from 1972. So of course the Lampadina was designed many years ago by Achille Castiglione, and he originally designed it for the Floss showroom opening in Turin. But Lampadina means bulb in Italian, so it's very simple design, and that was really the point of it. It's just meant to be um, the feature of the bulb and showing off the bulb rather than hiding it in the fixture. And it does have a partial satin finish in order to prov provide more of a diffused light. And my other favorite part of it, I actually have one of these at my house, is that you can reel in the cord at the bottom of the base. So it does provide for flexibility. You don't have any long cords hanging out. Now the original design was just in black and orange, but now we've expanded four more options. So we have white, green, turquoise, and uh, violet. And then there's going to be special packaging for each color as well. And here you can now see the final full collection. So the black one with the silver base is the original design. We've altered the orange one a little bit. The orange one did have a silver base before, and now we've changed it to black to max all, match all of the other colored fixtures too. And then this will be launching um, November 17th. And that's it. Does anyone have any questions? <laughs>